AK4500 gimbal from Fayutech is an absolutely game-changing gimbal. This gimbal absolutely destroys anything in its price range and directly competes with gimbals that are in the $1,000 price range. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five of the absolutely game-changing features of the AK4500 gimbal. All right, before I get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have big plans coming up for the channel, so definitely go down and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned if you're interested in more videos like this in the future. And one last thing before we get into the video, Fayutech did send me this gimbal for free in return for a video on my channel about it. They did not pay me any money. They did not tell me to say anything specific about it. This video is 100% my opinion on the gimbal, completely unbiased, but they did send it to me for free. So I just wanna get that out there and be fully transparent. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, so number one, the first game-changing feature of the AK4500 gimbal is the size and the weight. So this gimbal weighs only three and a half pounds but it has an insane payload and it can even be broken down even further from how small it is right now. So I'm actually gonna show you right now. First of all, this is the gimbal, how it is. Uh, it's already really small, especially if you take these legs off. It's a tiny and really light gimbal. Like I said, three and a half pounds. It's super small and has an insane payload, which is the craziest part, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But it gets even smaller from here. So I took the legs off already. Now I'm gonna take this gimbal part off so then we have this section right here with the batteries in it, and then we have the actual gimbal section itself. And then the gimbal can be locked in place, just like this, so it's even more flat right now. So this can be stored in a different pouch of a backpack or something like that. All comes apart into three separate pieces like this, which is amazing for traveling, for storage, for anything like that. Either way, that's pretty much the first insane feature of this is the size and the weight. All right, so next up we have the Hyperlink Remote. And so this comes right with the package. You don't have to buy it separate. It's not an add-on feature. It just comes with the gimbal. And this is something that I did not expect to use at all as much as I do. This is such a useful accessory. It can control the gimbal completely wirelessly. So it's, it's super small. I mean, this is the size of it in my hands. I have kind of small hands. It's essentially like a copy of the grip that's on the gimbal itself. And so you can control pretty much everything on the gimbal. It has a joystick here for you know controlling the movement of it. It has a mode where the gimbal essentially like follow this with gyroscopes or whatever they have in this. You can essentially control the gimbal by just pointing this around and it just follows the movement of this exactly, which is crazy. But I think personally the best part about this is this right here, this little wheel. So the standard kit of this gimbal comes with a wireless follow focus which of course you can use the wheel on this gimbal itself to control the focus because it's kind of hard to, you know, manual focus. When it's on the gimbal, you might mess up the camera and like make it wiggle a bunch. You know, you're not really supposed to touch the camera at all while it's on the gimbal. So of course it has that wheel on there to control the focus, but you can also control the focus completely wirelessly without touching the gimbal at all with this wheel on the wireless controller. So what I get the most use out of this with is essentially by connecting my phone to this, the gimbal actually comes with a phone mount as well. I stick that right on top of here, connect my phone, and then I connect my phone to my camera to essentially send a wireless video feed to it. I have to follow focus on this, so I can control the pan and tilt of the gimbal, I can control the focus, and I can see the video feed completely wirelessly without even being near the gimbal at all. And that's my favorite feature of this wireless remote right here. So I guess now's a good time to talk about price. So this gimbal costs $700, but right now on Amazon, there's like this coupon to get $100 off. So definitely go down and click the link in my description. If you wanna get this gimbal, I really don't know how long the coupon's gonna last. So if you wanna get this gimbal, definitely click the link down in the description and get it through my Amazon link. I will get a small kickback and no extra cost to you. So it'll help my channel out and you'll get an amazing gimbal. This gimbal is about $700 but only $600 with this coupon right now, which is a crazy price because this gimbal is essentially a direct competitor to the new DJI Ronin S2, which is $1,000, but it has a higher payload of the DJI RS2. It comes with that hyperlink controller that I just talked about, which the DJI does not come with. It has an extra carbon fiber handle that comes with it. I mean, you really cannot compete with this gimbal at the price point. I mean, this thing is just a monster for $600. It's insane. All right, so the next feature I wanna talk about is of course the payload. So the AK4500 gimbal has a payload of 10.14 pounds or 4.6 kilograms, which again, doesn't even compare to anything in the price range and is a direct competitor of the DJI Ronin S2, which like I said, is a thousand dollar gimbal and it has a payload of 10 pounds, which is just a little bit less than the AK4500. I couldn't get my Sony FS7 to balance on this, which makes sense. I mean, it, that thing's a huge camera but I got my Zcam E2S6 with a Canon 24 to 105 millimeter lens, a cage and a Sony NPF battery, 
all to balance on this, even with the lens all the way extended out to 105 millimeters, which, you know, pushes out a couple inches farther. I got that rig to balance on this gimbal perfectly fine. It can really hold almost any rig as long as you don't have a big cinema camera like a Sony FS7 or, you know, a RED camera or something like that. So there really isn't much else to talk about with the payload. I mean, you can go ahead, build up your rig and weigh it and see if this will hold it. Anything up to 10.14 pounds. However, there is one thing I want to bring up and I had a pretty big issue with this personally, even though it was user error. But I want to bring this up to you. If you do purchase this gimbal, I want to make sure you know this before you start to use it because this actually affected a shoot I was on. And it's definitely something I should have looked into more and should have you know, known from the start. So I want to tell you just right from the start. So this gimbal comes with a lens support that essentially attaches to the front of the quick release plate and just helps hold up a lens if you have like a longer lens on this gimbal. Now, when I started using this gimbal, I thought this lens support was only for, you know, really long lenses for something that's going to stick out a bunch. And so at first I did not use it, but I ended up having a bunch of issues with the gimbal basically shaking violently and just not working, even on a rig that's really small and light that should fit perfectly on this gimbal. And that was all because I didn't use the lens support. And so I even used a Sigma 16 millimeter lens on a Sony a6000, which is a really light and small rig. And I had it essentially pushed back to the point where the lens support wouldn't even work because the lens was basically pushed far enough back that, that it wouldn't even come in contact with the lens at all. Essentially what I had to do is slide the camera forward on the quick release plate so that I could use the lens support. And as soon as I got the lens support on there, uh, the gimbal worked great. I had no issues with it. But before I learned this, it was definitely a big issue that affected how I used the gimbal. But I just wanna let you know right off the bat before you get this gimbal, with any chance you have, definitely use the lens support because you might have some issues without it. All right, so next up we have the built-in touchscreen. So this is another feature that's basically a direct competition to the DJI Ronin S2. Um, so this has basically a little built-in touchscreen that you can essentially change all the settings in the gimbal. You can basically scroll through all the menu settings you can change the payload, you can do an auto adaption on the motors, you can do inception mode. There's all the different settings essentially you can change from the little touch screen on the gimbal. And there's even a button to lock it so you don't accidentally press anything and accidentally change any settings, which is super nice. But this one's pretty straightforward. It just has a touch screen where you can change all the settings without having to do like combination of button presses like in most other gimbals you have to do. And last but not least, this gimbal has an optional secondary handle that you can use. So some other gimbals like the Zion gimbals have this built in which is nice. However, you might not always want to have that second handle sticking out that gets in your way, but sometimes you might want to have it attached. So with the AK4500, it's essentially an optional attachment. You can pretty much screw it in and you have this carbon fiber handle that comes with it, or you can even attach that wireless remote grip to it. So you can use that to control the gimbal from that handle or the main handle. So with the second handle, you can either use it as just a secondary support or even as an underslung mode handle. So you can pretty much get the gimbal as low to the ground as you possibly can and just kind of have it in that underslung mode while still having the joystick right there for you to control it. And that pretty much wraps up five game-changing features of this gimbal. These are pretty much all features that only thousand dollar, you know, high-end gimbals have like the DJI Ronin S2 at a $700 price point or $600 if you use that coupon on the Amazon link. So this gimbal just packs so many features for its price point. It's an amazing gimbal and I've had a lot of fun using it. I'm sure you've seen a bunch of footage I've shot with it by now. I recorded a music video with it. I use it for some B-roll and all in all, I think it's gonna be game changing for me as a creator. That wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you don't hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more videos like this in the future and I'll see you in the next video.